Look, we did something dope on stream tonight. I want to share with you what it is and how we did it. And then I want to go to bed. It's 4 a.m. We created a camera fade in effect within OBS. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Harris just downloaded a fade in plugin. Nope, no plugins, no extra software, just vanilla OBS and a little bit of creativity and your transitions can look like this. Welcome back to the Alpha Gaming Channel. My name is Harris Heller. I am your stream doctor and today uh, we're gonna think outside the box just a little bit. Let's talk about some OBS camera trickery you're about to add into your stream. This is actually an idea I came up with about a year ago when I posted the uh, advanced OBS transitions video. I just haven't had the time to put it together until now and it turned out to be really cool. I should have done it a long time ago. The whole idea behind this is to have different elements of your scene enter at different times, not only allowing you to have a, a little bit more of an engaging experience in the transition, but also really allowing you to give some of the neat elements that you've designed the attention that they deserve. And then of course there's the whole, how did you do that? Which is what you're gonna get from your chat after they see your camera fade in two seconds after the transition ends. And um, I guess there's never any harm in, in making yourself look really smart smart on your own stream. So what does it look like and how did we do it? Let's take a closer look at my scene transition. The whole thing starts off with the blue shell stinger transition. When it finishes, my camera border animates in. Moments after that, my camera and my rotating feed widget fade in into their designated areas. It's very quick, it's very simple, but it's very beautiful. And by the way, if you're interested in how I did this bent webcam look, or you want to install this rotating metric feed widget on your own stream, uh, link to that video down in the description below. They're both available to you right now, for free, by the way. Now, the way this transition works is it's a handful of very simple commands played in a specific order. It starts on well, whatever scene you're on, it ends on your gameplay scene, but what you don't notice is that between those two scenes, there is a third one that plays momentarily for a very specific reason. Let's take it step by step. You initiate the transition and the stinger begins. 40 frames into the stinger, when the shell has completely covered the screen, the scene changes to the second scene, which is, by the way, an exact replica of my gameplay scene, but without the camera, the border, or the feed widget. The only thing there is the border animation that we made, which begins to play a little bit after the stinger finishes. The animation plays through, and another transition begins to the final gameplay scene. This time, instead of using the blue shell stinger transition, it's just a simple fade transition. Because that temporary second scene is exactly the same as the final scene, but without any of the camera stuff, it gives the effect that those things are fading in. So what do you need to do this? Well, one, you need to be streaming from OBS on a PC. Two, you need to have a device that can program macro functions. I'm using the Stream Deck by Elgato. Touch Portal is another free option that'll work just just fine or really any macro software you can find. You just need to find something that can program multi-function macros, that's all. So now that you're this far into the video, I assume you're trying to do this yourself. Here are some extra details that make this possible. Also, by the way, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do that and ring the bell for notifications. Also, if you want to have a more in-depth conversation about this, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening, sometimes Saturday mornings. Feel free to jump in there and ask me some things that I may have missed in this video. But one, you'll need to make sure you have transition overrides in place. This allows you to have different stinger transitions for different scenes. You'll need that temporary middle scene to be locked into your stinger transition. So whenever you start this, the first thing it starts with is your really cool stinger transition. You'll need your final gameplay scene to be locked to a fade transition. I preferred to have my fade transition set to 500 milliseconds. I felt that gave it a nice, smooth, slow fade in. That number's totally up to you, but make sure that both of those scenes are locked into those transitions using transition override. Two, when the initial stinger transition is starting to your temporary middle scene, make sure that your animated border that you have is immediately set to deactivate and reactivate in your macro software. This is gonna allow whatever your border or overlay animation is to start over every single time you do this. This was a little bit tricky. We had some problems with the border not starting over when we did this. We had to uh, 
screw around with delays and things to get it timed just right. If all you want is your camera to fade in, you don't want an animated border, you don't really have to worry about it. This is just for if you want a really cool animate in on your camera overlay. And number three, expect to spend some time really adjusting the delays between every function in your macro. These are the things that make the camera come in at just the right time. These are the details that make your whole thing look polished. And the whole purpose of doing this is to make your stream look incredibly professional. If you don't spend time on the details, you're gonna ruin the whole thing. Never underestimate the details. And on top of this, I think I've figured out a way to make the camera not only just fade in, but have some really cool different transitions, like a swipe in, or even those super cheesy circular wipes like you saw in all the Star Wars movies. Once I get that down, I'll definitely be making another video showing you exactly how to do that because that's just gonna blow your viewers' minds. However, I'm sure some of you smarter people watching this have probably already figured it out now that I've said it's possible. And so if you do, if you figure it out before I post the video, clip it. Tweet it at me. I'd love to see what you come up with. One more reminder, if you have some ideas or questions about this and you want to talk to me about it, feel free to come into my stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening, and sometimes Saturday mornings. Link to that down in the description below. Also, we have an amazing Discord full of incredibly creative people that you can discuss this with. Link to that down in the description below as well. And, as always, happy streaming. Two down. Uh, stop there. there we go. Good job, boys. Hey! Good game, boys. Hey! Oh.